Hello guys, uh, welcome to um, this little demonstration video that I'm going to do for the um, Classical Studies 319 course, the Roman Army. Uh, I'm using a game called Rome Total War here, and I'm just going to display a little bit of how uh, the Manipulator Legion would have actually behaved in battle. As you can see in the front line, we had Velites, basic skirmishers with uh, smaller shields than the actual legionaries, and they had jabs. You saw the Hastati line right there, and this is the Principe line, and you can see that the Principes are a little bit better armed than the Hastati. And right at the back, you have the Triari. And these guys uh, didn't have Pila, but they had Hastas, which are the long thrusting spears that you see here. And at the back right, over there, we have the Centurio Primus Pilus, which is a senior centurion, if you've done your homework. Uh, what I put together here was a quick army of Carthaginians, uh, Carthaginians, sorry. We have a good assortment of sword infantry from Iberia, some slingers, and some, spear uh, some spearmen. Um, so basically the legion would form up or line up in this checkered pattern. Of course these numbers don't really match up with the historical numbers because the game can't really handle, you know, 4,200 men at once. And I just sped up the game here a little bit just to show you how they line up. And notice there are like gaps in between the units. And we'll see in a little bit how these work. So, the Velites. What does the Velites did? Their job was to skirmish with the enemy. You can see that the enemy has a straight battle line. And you don't, want, you don't want your enemy to have a straight battle line because they'll encompass you and overwhelm you. So what the Velites did was they pushed forward and... See, see what happens? The, the, the enemy starts to chase them forward and in effect the line becomes scrambled and you have all these gaps in the line and then the Velites can just stop, turn around, throw their javelins and you know run back and once the enemy got close enough the first line which is the Hastari they'd start moving up forward and by moving up forward they'd intercept those troops that were foolish enough to actually chase the Velites and notice here that this troop realizes that it's done a mistake and it starts to run away. But once they're in range, they're going to pull out their pila right there and they're going to start showering those units with the pila. And that's going to cause even more chaos and more uh, damage to their line. So, as you can see here, they have tried to flank my unit over there, but because I have a second line, and notice how my Velites are still showering them, because the Velites are skirmishers. Anytime they can fire something, they're going to do it. And now notice how the Principe line slowly starts to fill in the gaps that the Hastari line has. They're going to move in and push the enemy back. See, you can, you can see the gap clearly here. And this showcases how the, the, the manipulator system was actually better than the phalanx system, because you can see how these units are, are enveloping and encasing the phalanx and they're getting around those pikes. And as you can see, the Principes have started to fill the gaps slowly, and eventually the Triarii will move in. And of course, the Principe have their Pila, but the, the Triarii just have the Thrusting Spear and the Hasta. And that's actually effective when you hit the enemy from the side or from the back, because that gives you the extra range. And so you can see here that the Phalanx is slowly starting to fall apart, because you need, you need to keep a front in order to maintain the Phalanx. And here come the Triari with their Hastas, and they're hitting the enemy from the back with their uh, long reach. So as you saw, the, the gaps act as, one, a space for the Velites to fall behind the lines. And two, it makes it easier for the second line of Principe and the third line of Triari to be able to move in through the gaps, kind of like this, and exploit the enemy where they're weak. So basically that's how the manipulator system would have probably worked. Uh, of course, they might be less organized or more organized, and the numbers were more. Um, but with a simple game like this, this is the best I could show you. Anyway, uh, I'm Arwood Hassan. It was a pleasure to make this demonstrative video for you guys, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it.